Well, did you know your DNA could be the key to solving a cold case, even if you're not the person who committed the crime? It is called genetic genealogy, and detectives could be looking at the branches of your family tree to find their suspect. But recently, they've hit a roadblock, and now they're asking for your help. On your side's Anthony Austin explains how your DNA could help solve a murder. In this small library on the west side of Jacksonville, big books sit on the shelves full of history that can help solve some family mysteries. I've learned a lot. I've learned a lot and I've made a lot of connections. Elena Masters is a member of the Southern Genealogist Exchange Society. This is where I've actually used DNA matches. For years, she's researched family members she knew little about and in the process found some new ones too. I've even gone to visit them. Sifting through census records, documents, and newspaper articles, she's unlocked some family secrets. And because of her death certificate, it led me to her father. For the rest of this story, we need to leave Jacksonville and head down to Orlando. This is where the Florida Department of Law Enforcement is located. Today, I'd like to give you an understanding of how genetic genealogy is being used to solve cold cases. Inside the department, Chief of Forensic Services Lori Napolitano was giving a presentation about how her team has solved four cold cases in one year using genetic genealogy. We go back in time to great-grandparents or great-great-grandparents. We come forward to living descendants of those people. And then we look for who might have been in the right place at the right time to commit the crime. And we provide those leads to the investigators. Florida is the only state with a genetic genealogy team at the state level. And what they do is not all that different from what Elena does in this library. Napolitano and her team can build family trees by entering DNA profiles from crime scenes in public genealogy databases like GEDmatch and FamilyTreeDNA.com. Well, the strength of our matches comes in the strength of how many people the DNA profile is compared to. So the more DNA profiles we can compare to, the better matches we can get and the more cases we can solve or the less time it takes to solve a case. Genetic genealogy is normally used after DNA matches can't be found in the national criminal database known as CODIS. The technique gained popularity after it was used to arrest the Golden State Killer, Joseph D'Angelo, in 2018. Here on the First Coast, this man, Brandon Young, an accused serial rapist, was arrested after police say DNA from rape kits matched a family member who ultimately led them to Young. And a lot of times it's family members you don't even know. It's second and third cousins, and most people don't know their second or third cousin or, or beyond. Allison Nunes is the chief operating officer of DNA Labs International, a company specializing in forensic DNA analysis. In May of last year, she says GEDmatch changed its policy, limiting law enforcement involvement on its website. Users must now give permission for their DNA profiles to be used, and that has reduced the potential DNA pool for investigations. Every time we enter a profile, it's a very rare match, um, not close at all. So it's not really worth spending the time looking for a relative at this point. With the smaller pool of people to compare DNA with, fewer cold cases are getting solved. And that took our pool of samples that we compare to from a little over a million to about 140,000 now. And that's about 12% of what it once was. But it's understandable why the average person might not want their DNA profile shared with law enforcement. Besides their own privacy concerns, a single person can put other family members who don't want to be involved in legal issues in an uncomfortable situation. The general population, as long as you're not a serial killer, um, you know, is okay with you searching the database for rapists and murderers and trying to connect the dots to solve those types of crimes. And I think people genuinely would want to help if they knew more about it. That's why DNA Labs International has launched a new campaign encouraging more people to opt in to law enforcement searches in order for their DNA to be used to help solve crimes. But just like any investigative tool. It's not flawless. You right. still have to go back and prove it yourself. And sometimes the proof can be right in front of you like a leaf dangling on your family tree. Anthony Austin, First Coast News, on your side.